One of Nebraska's greatest running backs of all the. time. The. <laughs> do you think, do you uh, believe, obviously, we're joking when it, we're not joking, but also you're playing around being, yeah. you know, with that confidence. But do you think you are the greatest running back to ever lace him up in Nebraska? Uh, that's, a, that's a tough question. It's tough just because I feel like every generation of football is different. And I was in a generation of football where we came up in a generation of football where the running back position has really, really changed. It's not really just running back anymore. It's more like a hybrid position. Yeah. They split me out wide, played played a lot of receiver, caught the ball a lot. The traditional eye back position at Nebraska has a different definition today than what it had back when you had Mike Rozier's, Lawrence Phillips, even Amon Greens. You know, guys who are obviously Hall of Famers in Nebraska's history. So I think it's very subjective. You know what I mean? I, I try not to get too much into that, but I consider myself – top three and i'm not two or three okay i was gonna say very i was gonna say a very well put together answer you know if we're sitting in the calf back in the day if we're sitting in the hawks now you say we go to the spring game next year and we're sitting there and i'm like yo you think you're the greatest running back of all time and i, I only there. say that just because i move with a different intention now in life i feel like you got to really speak who you want to be you got to really embody who you think you are so being passive in life will only bring you mediocre things. I right. really believe that. You know, even if you're doing it for good intentions of like, oh, I want to be humble around these people, the universe hears that and it gives you back mediocrity. So like really speaking who you are is important. And that's that's where I'm setting my intentions moving forward. Like you got to speak what you really want. And I don't want to be mediocre. So I'm going to say I'm the best. And it's, it's not to disrespect anyone. It's yeah. not to say like, oh, this guy wasn't better than me. I'm sure Nebraska fans are going to be re- watching this like, ah, he was good, but he's not the best. In my mind, I'm the best, and I'm going to take that to the grave. You know? Yeah, I mean, statistically, I if we could pull up some of the stats for like uh, the Nebraska all-time stuff, where are you at in some of those? I remember walking down yeah. the halls, and you're obviously at the top of yeah. a few. All-purpose, all I'm number one all-time. Um, rushing yards, I'm number two, which I'm pissed because I got hurt senior year Purdue game. And then it's a couple games I look back where we were beating the hell out of teams and they pulled me out like first half. And I'm like maybe 140 yards behind Mike Rozier, who's actually number one. And I probably would have easily gotten that if I wasn't pulled in a couple of those games or specifically that Purdue game where I didn't I virtually didn't play. So true. But you also got to think, too, like I'm sure Rosier, some of those greats who are on those teams, I'm sure they were getting pulled in some of the games. Yeah, that's you know true. what I mean? That's true. That is you know true. what I mean? Especially and, in the 90s, think, they're probably getting yanked at halftime. And did right Rosier go all four years? Because I went all four years, even though I didn't start. I'm not sure. Year. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. My that's Nebraska true. history isn't that's that. True. Isn't that fine tuned? It is fine tuned when it comes to talking like about Levante stats. Levante, like I sit and talk with uh, Rude, and uh, I'm like, it's crazy to think Levante was creeping up on Rude, and Levante was only there two years. Two years. Boogie was only there two hey, years. I say this all the time, no disrespect, because you my well, boy. There was Levante is my favorite in. linebacker I've ever played with. <laughs> 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 Yo, that's why I had the disclaimer. I had I, to, I'm going to be honest. I didn't think it was going to hurt. Did that? Did but I it kind of hurt. Did, yeah. I, did I twist it? Did I twist it? Grinded that? it a little bit. Ooh, I know. Only just Bro, because, he really like, is. He's, he's a the savage. Best, man. Never spoke. Made every play. It wasn't a time where Levante was in position to make a play that I'm like, oh, damn, he missed that play. Yeah, like, you're right. Like, How did you say that? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure. But he made a play when you needed a play to be made. Every time. I'm always thinking about that Ohio State game when we were playing Braxton Miller, and Braxton Miller was on like a freshman year terror. Just, just killing folks. My jockstrap still ain't at the 50 yard <laughs> line. You, could, you can find that for sure. Sometimes I'll replay it on Big Ten. I would say this still Braxton Miller is one of the craziest athletes I've ever seen. I know, like, he had to kind of move the receiver, an unnatural position to him for yeah. him in the NFL. So things didn't work out in that, that aspect. But college quarterbacks. Braxton Miller was crazy and he was just murdering us. We were losing like 24 to like three right before the half. And I mean, Levante, it was like the most historic comeback oh, in Nebraska history. Levante sparked that comeback. I remember he hit him, lifted him up because Braxton was trying to go down, stopped him from going down, ripped the ball and recovered it. And that changed the entire momentum for the game. And I was just like, bro, that was one of the most iconic plays I had ever seen. Bro, it's insane. Bro. And there's another, there's another one against, we good? There's another one against uh, Iowa I think about that 
I, I think they were in, they might have been an empty. The tight end ran a stick route and pushed Levante down, pushed off. Levante fell backwards. Dude catches the ball. He's obviously he's going up the sideline, but Levante gets pushed down right, and he throws up his he throws up his hands and like looks around, like looks at the ref and immediately like gets up, chases old boy down, strips the ball from him <laughs> and takes it from him and recovers it and it's our ball. Was that was you got to find you got to was that when was we were it? rolling the YouTube we got to find that play too. Like, was that your junior year? Was that junior this year? was my junior no, year. So la last person. game of the season. It was last game of the season. Yeah. It's when I. Uh, that was actually a game, a pivotal moment for me because it was the first time I actually stood up and spoke in front of the team. And it was the night before, it was the day before that game because they were having senior day. And so I was like, that was my first time yeah. speaking. I, I, I think bro, I remember that. I was so nervous. My heart was in my stomach, bro. And afterwards, BK like grabbed me. He's like, that's the most hype I, shit. I do remember that's that. That's the most yeah. hype, blah, blah, blah. And I, from then, I never felt like, it made me feel good about actually speaking up. You know what I mean? Because you're so nervous when you're young. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But dude- I was fortunate to have seniors like y'all around me because it gave me so much more confidence because when I came into Nebraska, no one thought I was going to be what I was because I was like a two-star, maybe three-star recruit out of Alabama. You were like a last-minute recruit oh, too, last weren't minute. you? last-minute. Like, we had signed Aaron Green, who was the number two. He's like think, a four-star running back. Five-star, number two running back in the country coming out of high school. And then Braylon, the year before, he was a late um, qualifier. So he was supposed to be in the class ahead of me, but he qualified my that class. That is true. It is. So I, I forgot came about in Aaron with both Green. of those dudes. And I just surrounded myself with you, Rex, Levante from time to time. Guys Rex who was there. You know what I mean? I yeah. Mean, Rex was there. I was just like, bro. I'm talking about like the running back room. Yeah, the running back room was thick. I hope you guys like this clip. If you want to continue to be for the boys, you need to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share with a friend, and check out our playlist. We have all the links right here on the screen. As always, biggest of hugs and tiniest of kisses. Also, go check out the full episodes, but always for the boys.